Just trying to get this camera straight. We're slopping. Son got my other jack, man. My son be house in my other jack. I don't even be having my other jack. So I can scroll through the internet <clears throat> and respond to messages while I'm on live. Dude was causing an inconvenience for me. Yerp. But yeah, man, it's baking out here. Yerp. Broke so don't ask was probably already snow. Uh, Popcorn Gang is definitely in the building, man. Yerp. More money, what up? I mean, Thomas was popping. Roscoe James was really good. Peace, peace. Frankie B, what up? I see you flagging that gem pop. Louis V, I see you flagging that gem pop. Richard Smith was really good. No gas TV was popping. Yeah, man. New episode is dropping at 5 o'clock. You already know I'm in here for the pregame show. I mean, rallying up the troops because I'm not dropping nothing. Like I told you, the new motto is everything's a movie. I ain't dropping nothing but movies. Hurt? Shea Butter, what up? Sean Summers was really good. But yeah, it's hot as hell. Hurt? Hunter, what up? <laughs> Harry Wings was populated. Regular shit, man. New episode at 5 o'clock, man. Heard YouTube played games yesterday. They ain't approved nothing. You know what I mean? But I woke up this morning. They approved all three joints. So, you know. You gotta catch these people when they at work, man. You gotta put the reviews in when they at work. Yerk. Little tab was popping. Brandon Knox was really good. In the streets gaming, what up? Rico Brown was popping. I don't really want to sit in this car for the whole live, man. I might have to get out, get the, get the walk in or something. Hurt. So I don't know if I can sit up in here for a whole hour and all of that, man. You know what I mean? My nose is bad. Itchy and stuffy. It's that heat, man. That heat is leaning. That heat leaning. Man. That heat got you with the air condition on. 200 miles per hour. Word up. Shit got me burning the AC like a refrigerator and my shit just to stay cool. Ain't nothing worse than when your son, your car was sitting in that sun all day and you got to get up in it and move it. Shit be roasting. I be having to turn the AC on and come back in five minutes. Word, that shit be roasterelli. Should be rotisserie gold. Word of mother. My shit is black on black too. Dion Jones was popping. You regret that black leather in the summertime. I got that black on black. My shit be roasted. Should be a microwave oven in here. You heard? Gotta throw that AC on for about five minutes. Let it run. Straight up. Word, that gas, that gas is stupid. I'm so happy it's the summertime and I don't got to take my kid to school every day. That gas is stupid, my nigga. That shit like six cash a gallon. You heard? Like, that shit is ridiculous, bro. That shit damn near double what it's supposed to be. That shit crazy. It's like, that shit take the fun out of anything, like. Damn, they gotta go to Coney Island. But it is what it is. I just be biting the bullet. I see it as if I was gonna put 20 in my car, now I gotta put 25 
but that, I'm doing limited driving. I'm not driving all over the place for wreck. If I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. I ain't gonna be just driving around burning gas all day. Not in this gas guzzling shit. Word the mother. Yeah, this New York heat is different though. And it's not even crazy like 90 something degrees. You know what I mean? My car is lying. You know how your car been sitting in the joint all day? My car talking about 108. Nah, that hood is 108 though, nigga. That hood that was sitting in that sun is 108. Shit, eating your clear coat up. Yeah, man. That's why summertime like this, wintertime too, but summertime you gotta put some, you gotta get some good wax on that car. Cause that wax protect your clear coat from getting ate up by the sun. Your shit just sitting in the sun all day. That shit cooking your clear coat, melting that shit off. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I gotta have, I gotta throw that wax on that, man. Make sure it's a layer of protection on that for that to start fading your paint. But, um, yeah, man, that good clear coat, I mean, that good wax, I'm gonna keep it real. My car, though, this the only car I ever had that you do not need wax on this shit for it to shine like this shit is is, is is a this black paint it got like little specks of silver sparkles in it like they made it like that it says i forgot what they call it sparkle sparkling black or some shit like that but it got little sparkles inside the paint so when you wax this shit it actually dulls the sparkles a little bit but when you just get a regular wash and you tell them no wax, my nigga, them sparkles be going crazy. Even if it's, your shit could be filthy, that shit still be going crazy. Like, they outdid they self with that sparkling black paint, Um, if I may say so myself. Audi outdid themselves with that paint. I know that shit is expensive. If you got to buy that shit to paint a car, I know that shit dumb expensive. Your sh but yeah, man, that new episode is at five. You know, I'm a little smoked up. My little smoking a little uh, guava, smoking guava. What's what I'm smoking again? Guava gelato. Shit done got out of control in these streets, man. They crushing up some guava gelato. Like, bro, this is the game we trapped in now, man. Nigga, nigga, nigga in here rolling up some guava gelato. But, um, you know, when you smoke that weed and you in that heat, that shit be having your shit twished, swished it, right? So I'm laid back, man. I ain't getting overexerted with this heat. Lurch. But yeah, man. New episode at five cash. You heard? Yeah, man. That hundred dollars to fill up shit, man. If I'm doing that, I'm going somewhere. Like if I'm taking my kids to. You know what I mean? Boney Island or something. You heard from taking my kids to Boney Island. Now, you know I'm not in no games. I just be fucking around and shit. You know what I mean? But um, if I'm taking my kids to Boney, I just throw that yuck in there, man. Because I ain't trying to be stopping all day in different gas stations. And then you go in the gas station, you spend 30 cash because you see shit you want. Nah, my nigga. Fill that shit up. Or at least fill it. You know you're going to burn $50, $60 that day. Just put sixty dollars in that shit. And that's that, bro. You heard? Go to that Zony Island or something like. You know what I mean? I went to Rob Playland. I don't know if that was last year. That shit was kind of depressing, man. Rob Playland is alright, but it's not Coney Island. You heard? It's not in Brooklyn, so the energy don't be feeling the same way. You heard? Like you be like, damn, I feel like I'm in an imitation Coney Island, but it's just an amusement park like any other amusement. Park. Them shits is cookie cutter. They got the same motherfucking rides. Niggas just could call it different names. You understand what I'm saying? But them amusement parks be bullshit. That shit is hilarious on South Park. When that nigga, the, the water park episode on South Park, when, <laughs> when Cartman had that song, it's too many minorities in my water park. Shit, hilarious, my nigga, because I ain't even gonna hold you, my nigga. I feel sorry for white people. Because us black and Hispanic people, we fucked up all amusement parks and water parks for everybody, my nigga. 
I'm going to keep it real, my nigga. White people can't enjoy no amusement parks and water parks no more because of niggas like us, my nigga. You heard? Because we coming through looking for broads. You heard? I'm jumping in the water with, with a shirt on. You feel what I'm saying? I got my motherfucking... I got some feline slippers inside the motherfucking pool. You heard? I ain't even taking my lie slippers off in the pool. You heard? I got my hat to the side jumping in the pool. You feel what I'm saying? Like... You know, we make those white people uncomfortable in the water park, my nigga. You know what I mean? We coming through with the whole projects. Yo, yo, we having, yo, we going to Great Adventure, yo. Niggas come out there 40 deep, starting trouble, popping off. You heard? White people scared in the water parks, man. They in the amusement parks, they low. You don't be seeing no white people in these amusement parks. I went to Sesame Place not too long ago. I'ma keep it real with you, man. I was calling that shit Get a Sesame Place. You heard that shit was Get Sesame Place, my nigga. That shit was ghetto up in that bitch. I'ma keep it real. Broads was half naked, mad broads. I mean, you know, it's a water park, but you could tell when broads is just trying to get fly. So you know, broads is half ass naked. You heard? Shit was two zillion people. You feel what I'm saying? It was alright though, it was alright, but I'm just letting, you know, couldn't get no pictures in front of Oscar the Grouch. I'm in front of the Sesame Place stoop because niggas be in front of that shit taking pictures in a line like that shit is Midtown and the Deuce in 89. You heard? Like, damn, let somebody else take a picture. Niggas in front of that shit taking 400 selfies. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Lord, can you move over, Lord? Then niggas go to the parade. Right? We go to the parade. They supposed to have like the parade where the sesame niggas come through. I seen them sesame niggas curbing black kids. I seen them videos of them sesame place niggas curbing black kids. Fuck one of y'all niggas up, man. Fuck you up, Elmo. You heard? I'll go there and just steal off. I wish nigga would do some shit like that to my kid. My kid come up to hug Elmo or something. And you curb, I'm just going to come up to you and snuff you. Yo, son, what you going to do? Bing, bang, bang. Shit going to be all over the internet. You heard? Niggas gonna be like, yo, the nigga Saint Last. Yo, you saw that shit on World Star? That nigga Saint Last fighting that nigga Elmo? Word, Sesame Place. Go see that shit. I'll be if I get famous the way I'm really trying to get famous out this bitch, you heard? But on some G shit, I will fuck one of them Sesame Place niggas up. Y'all curb my kid like that. I'm, I don't give a fuck if you a man, a woman. I don't care what you is in that costume. If my kid come up to give you a hug and you don't hug my kid, my nigga. I'm, all you just gonna see is me flying through the air like this. Boom! Hitting you with the wrestling move. Boom! I'm gonna be fucking you up. I'm gonna drag you. I'm gonna drag you out that costume. I'm gonna drag your ass. You know, in Sesame Place, they got this, they got the pool where it's a big ass bucket and that shit dumps down on you. I got footage of myself getting dumped on. Pause. You heard, but I got, I got footage of me and my kid getting dumped on. You know what I mean? Pause that. But like, yeah. I'll bring your ass right in that shit with your costume on and let that water dump on your motherfucking head and you will have wet fur and I'll be fucking you up. You won't even be able to move because you'll be so heavy and I'll be fucking you up in that pool, my nigga. I'll be dragging you all around that pool. I'll be letting kids jump you. I'll be like, snuff that nigga. Snuff him. Kids will be fucking you up. All the black kids will fuck you up, my nigga. I'm telling you. So that's a message to anybody who works at Sesame Place. I will fuck you up if I catch y'all niggas curbing another black kid like that. You know what I mean? I'm throwing you under the bucket. I'm fucking you. I'm dragging you outside to the parking lot. You heard? I'm going to fuck you up, son. Word up. But nah, that niggas is crazy with that. That go for any amusement park mascots. If y'all niggas is curbing black kids, y'all getting fucked up, man. Word up. This might have to be a band from live. Cause I'm threat niggas. I don't want Sesame Place niggas um, writing in YouTube talking about yo this nigga making terroristic threats to all Sesame Place workers. I will fuck y'all niggas up, nigga. Wait for y'all niggas outside the motherfucking joint, ham it up and all of that with two, three niggas from the Ville. You heard? I'll be like, nigga, that nigga, yo, son, nigga, that nigga, Oscar the Grouch, Ernie, and all them niggas right there, son. I'll be coming out. I'll be like, nah, that's Ernie and them niggas right there. Run right, hit that whole shit up. La 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 la. You heard shit be all over the news. Yo, niggas laid that nigga Ernie Bird. All them niggas is finished. Play with my motherfucking kid like that, nigga. But anyway, what I was saying was, you know, Sesame Place was ghetto, man. I mean, Guessing Me Place, man. You feel what I'm saying? 
and you know i apologize to white people because we just be in there you know we got our kids we going in there with the nike i came up in there with the nike swimsuit on you feel what i'm saying i was overmatching though i ain't doing that this year if i go back you heard but i had the orange nike swimsuit on you heard with the, with the nike air max slippers you feel me i'm in there i'm in there looking for buns and all of that you heard that sesame place so i know how y'all feel um white people we be coming up in that motherfucker rowdy, nigga. You heard we be popping open foils and all of that. You know what I mean? Cause you know we ain't we ain't with all of that. We hustlers, not customers. You heard at the amusement park, so we not even. It's not that we ghetto that we busting out fried chicken out the aluminum foil at the amusement park. It's that niggas ain't trying to pay thirty cash for a hot dog, my nigga. That niggas be selling a hot dog for thirty cash. You heard hot dog and a soda, small soda. That should be 30 cash. Like, come on, Lord. I'm here to see Big Bird and them niggas. I'm not here to spend all my every dime in my pocket. You heard? You, you charge the niggas 30 cash for a motherfucking hot dog. Like, what is this, nigga? Yankee Stadium or something? Like, the fuck? But yeah, I ain't even gonna talk about Yankee Stadium, nigga, because a beer is 20 cash. You heard? Nigga, get a large bud. That shit 20 cash, Lord. So if you go in there, you say you go to Yankee Stadium with a broad, right? You in there with a broad, right? And y'all trying to eat. Y'all want two hot dogs, pause. You heard? Black pay four, five, six, appreciate you, bro. Y'all want two hot dogs, big pause, right? Boom, it's burning hot, it's like today. You gonna want an ice cream, Lord. She gonna want an ice cream. Ice cream's 10 cash. Hot dog, let me stop exaggerating, right? Ice cream, 10 cash, though, right? Hot dog, 10 cash, that's 20. That's 20 cash right there. Then she want to wash that down with a bud. You heard? She want to wash it down with a good bud. That's 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 40 on her end and then 40 on your end. So that's 80 cash right there for two hot dogs, two beers, and two ice creams, right? You, that's 80 cent right there. You heard? Now, you going to be in that stands all the way to the nine, ninth inning, my nigga. Pretzel nigga gonna come around. Hot bitch, of hot pretzels. Hot pretzels right off the back. You're gonna be like, damn, them shits look crazy. Let me get one of them dry bitches with mad salt on them to make you buy something to drink again. So now you wanna do on the two pretzels. You you can't share the pretzel and look like a cheap bastard in front of the rich elite elite caucasians that's in yankee stadium you heard so you got a front you got to get her a pretzel too 10 and 10 boom bing bong you heard now you getting another beer because that's so that dry ass pretzel got you dying of thirst so now you heard me get two more of them beers you heard now you about a buck 50 deep you about a buck 50 deep in yankee stadium them yankee stadium dumb you heard you about a buck 50 deep so you chilling, you chilling, you chilling. Seven finish stretch come, you know, the sun go down, it gets cozy. It's cozy as a motherfucker. Ain't nothing cozier than Yankee Stadium when the sun go down and you in them stands at seven, eight o'clock. You know what I mean? And that Bronx air floating through the stadium and the sound of them bats cracking. Ain't nothing more relaxing than that. So you chilling now. Now you super relaxed. You heard, oh, oh, oh. Seven finish stretch, you went to the bathroom. When you came back from the bathroom, you saw that they got the nachos with the cheese at the stand. You like, damn, they got the not loaded nachos with the jalapenos. Fuck it, let me get that. 20. You hungry, thirsty again. Mine's, if you're going to spend all that money on a drink, it might as well be alcoholic. Let me get another beer. Now you 200 deep. You 200 deep by the eighth inning. You heard? Then... When you come out the spot, you hungry, nigga. You hit that air, you like, oh, now I wanna go to a restaurant and eat something. It's another 70, 80 cash. So if you go into Yankee Stadium, take out a chick to have a good, good time that night, have about 500, my nigga. Have about 500, my nigga, you heard? Have about 500. You need the weed, we had the weed, a little bottle of Henny you sneak in, you feel what I'm saying? Listen. Have about five cent, my nigga. You heard? But nah, that's how much you paying for Yankee for Yankee Stadium outing. Now, if you just going to the game, eating and going, running back to the train station. 
nigga be running back to the train station to save money. Like, don't look, don't look at no souvenirs. I don't want to see no restaurants and bars and shirts and hats. Shit they be selling when you come out the game. You can't, you can't even look at that shit, nigga. You come out, nigga, like this. Yo, I got that Don Mattingly throwback uh, Nike num number 23. You be like, damn, nigga, got the Don Mattingly. How much? Let me get 30, pop pop. Like, damn, man. 30 for the manly. Fuck it. Let me get two. You heard you and your broad. Right, you better get to that train station, nigga. You better get to that train station after that game. And let me not even talk about Madison Square Garden. I ain't been to Madison Square Garden in so long because I can't afford to go to Madison. Last time I went to Madison Square Garden, my nigga John Dilly took me. You heard? Shout out to my nigga John Dilly, Brownsville Projects. You heard? Brownsville Houses. Son took me to motherfucking the garden. You heard? You don't want to talk about them prices in there, my nigga. You don't want to talk about them prices in that Madison Square Garden. That ain't Barclays. I'm sorry. I love my hood. I love Brooklyn. I love my town. But uh, when you in that Manhattan on 30, 33rd, listen, your bread better be slup, not up. Your shit better be slup. You heard? This is like 50 for a beer, you heard? <laughs> a beer is like 50. Straight up. Nah, but that's the shit a nigga do when he gets some when you get some bread, that's the type of shit you do. Kasim was populated. That's the type of shit you get handled, my nigga. You spend some time in Madison Square Garden in some good ass seats. You heard? Yankee Stadium is some good ass seats. You know. City Field. A nigga could go to City Field right now with five cash, you heard? Let me stop. I'm just, I'm just fucking with the Mets. But now nah, City Field, that should be looking rough, my nigga. You heard? You go, you know what I mean? You know, Yankee Stadium is in the South Bronx and all of that. But City Field, my nigga, that shit is across the street from like 14 bootleg underground mechanic spots. You heard? Like, you begin your muffler change. You just hear niggas Arr! from City Field. Like, that shit need a new location, nigga. That shit is in the middle of nowhere. They need they needed to leave Shea Stadium alone, bro. You know, we used to shit on Shea Stadium, but now that it's gone, you know, we kind of miss that sticky shit. Shea Stadium, that shit used to be filthy, nigga. You go in Shea Stadium, all you hear is your feet sticking on the floor. Slurp, 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 slurp. That's my word, nigga. That shit was filthy. Shea Stadium. I'm going to keep it real. Compared to Yankee Stadium, Shea Stadium was filthy, bro. I done been there on numerous occasions. You heard? That shit had the gumdrop floor, nigga. You be walking through that shit like you walking through a fucking swamp trying to get down them escalators. Like, shit take two hours. You heard? Shit had the weird color purple, blue, bluish purple. That shit was weird. You know what I mean? Shea Stadium, we used to shit on it, but compared to City Field, bro, City Field is like a high school baseball stadium. You heard that shit look like a high school base, look like a high school team play there. Matter of fact, uh, uh, um, the Triple A team play there. Um, the Brooklyn Cyclones. Matter of fact, you heard. So let me stop shitting on City Field because y'all niggas don't know about the Brooklyn Cyclones. I had that hat in a couple of good videos. You heard I got to get that hat again, the Brooklyn Cyclones hat. That's the triple A baseball team for Brooklyn. Them niggas is a fish. You heard? But they play in that city field, if I'm not mistaken. But them niggas' logo is the Cyclone from Coney Island. You heard? So you ain't as Brooklyn as me if you ain't never have that Brooklyn Cyclones hat. Because I had that shit. You heard? That shit is fire. I'm going to get the jacket. When I pop out with the jacket, I don't want to hear nothing from nobody about Brooklyn. You heard? Don't tell me nothing about Brooklyn when I pop out with the Brooklyn Cyclones jacket with the big roller coaster. That's their logo. The roller coaster. Big roller coaster on my back with the Cyclones hat like Brooklyn underdog. You heard? I don't know, man. Y'all don't, don't be knowing. You heard? My nose itching, man. J-Mo status was popping. Brosco Jones was really good. Wise man, peace. George L, you know my mouth dry. You know they call me Dry Mouth Dre. Because I'm always smoking an L right before I go on. Literally, I've yours.
Charles Navito was popping. My nigga Kasim Cypress Projects was really good. Murphy Law Media was populated. Kareem Towns was really. Sasha V was really hood. Word up though, bro. Riggs the man was really good. Williamsburg was popping. You know my family is from Williamsburg. Her, so I'm always shouting out that Bergy, that Berg life. J Fit was popping. King Sun Ra was really good. Mitchell was really locked and loaded. Was popping. Dub Shack was really good. Yeah, that motherfucking Disneyland. Forget about it. You know I don't fuck with planes and shit, but I've heard stories about Disneyland and Disney World. I don't know which one is in Florida and which one is in Cali, but um, I've heard about them dudes. Even Coney Island. Hold on, let me fix my shit. Even Coney Island is out of fucking control, my nigga. I don't know. Last time I checked, Coney Island prices was out of fucking control. Like I don't know where y'all niggas think y'all at. They trying to gentrify Coney Island. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that's my word, motherfucking tickets was like $150, my nigga, per person. Or some shit like that. Like, y'all bugging the fuck out of Coney Island. Don't make me remind y'all where we came from, my niggas. You know what I mean? Cause niggas, they, somebody got shot in Coney Island. I think somebody got killed or shot and killed. I don't know if they got shot or killed in Coney Island like two weeks ago. They be wilding out. Y'all niggas can't be charging $150 for a ticket and niggas is niggas blowing the AK on the motherfucking boardwalk, my nigga. Y'all got to get them prices together. You know, if I'm going to pay a buck 50, I can't, my kid, me and my kids can't be ducking on the boardwalk while we getting, the most, getting some motherfucking Nathan's fries and all of that. Niggas can't be ducking on the boardwalk, my nigga. Y'all can't be charging prices like that if niggas got to duck shots on the boardwalk, nigga. Get some metal detectors on that fucking, in that, on that entrance, nigga. Y'all letting anybody come in. Nah, nigga. Metal detect these niggas, nigga. Straight up. You know, it's two sides to Coney Island. You got the gentrified side that they trying to push off like Great Adventure. And then you got the hood side that's just filthy. You heard? And that's the side I like to roam around. The filthy hood side. You know what I mean? But all the good ass rides is on the is on the, the gentrified side. You heard they done cleaned up the beach a little bit, you know. It ain't no pampers and condoms and maxi pads in the sand no more like it used to be in the 80s. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna step on a 357 revolver while you while you setting up your motherfucking blanket and all of that. You ain't gonna go in the water and motherfucking bloody maxi pads smack you in the face while you swimming. It ain't like that in Coney Island no more. That was the 80s and your early 90s when it was like that. You understand what I'm saying? You floating through the water, arm just come by some shit, dead dog floating in the water, hit you in your face. You heard, you open your eyes from the water, just be a dead dog corpse. That's how Coney Island used to be. You heard, so you know, they cleaned the sand up a little bit. Now the sun is $150 entrance fee for unlimited pass. Like, y'all niggas bugging the fuck out with them prices, nigga. Niggas getting shot on the boardwalk, know what I mean? Y'all bugging out, Lord. I told y'all niggas, uh, I forgot what, what newspaper it was, man. But a major newspaper ran down on me one time when I was coming to Coney Island with my kids during COVID. I was looking stupid crazy. I had the stupid no, non-haircut. My hair was all over. My shit was over here somewhere. I was looking like a straight, like I was a dad. I done gave up. I, I think that was before the channel popped off. I think that was before the channel popped off. I was looking like I done gave up on life and just, I'm here to raise my kids and, they, and that's it. Nigga ran down on me with a camera like, yo, it's COVID-19 and you still bringing your kids to Coney Island? Because nah, 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 they was trying to say like, you know, Coney Island lost the field because of COVID-19. Nobody was out there. I'm like, listen, I'm out here, man. You know, once a year, my all my kids, no matter what part of the city they was born in, they got to make a pilgrimage to Coney Island. You know what I mean? To, to, to absorb the Brooklyn Adams. You feel me? I don't care if you born in the Bronx, Manhattan. You got to absorb these Brooklyn Adams once a year in Coney Island. And go into the waters and be baptized in the Brooklyn waters of Coney Island. Before you could say, you're my kids. You feel what I'm saying? So I take my kids there once a year to baptize them in the Brooklyn waters. 
You feel me? And uh, the nigga ran down on me and threw me in the magazine with my son with my hair like this. My shit meant no all type of no shape up looking wild. You heard? Looking dirty and dusty, but I was it was still was a it still was classic though, you heard? But yeah, man, new episode dropping at five o'clock, man. It's 340 right now. We we down to the last 20 minutes of the pregame show. You feel what I'm saying? The real deal was populated. But yeah, man, I was gonna go to Coney Island until a nigga got shot last week or something, man. But I'm still going though. I'm still going, man. Holler at me if you wanna roam through Coney Island on a late night and smoke some blunts, man. You heard? Roam through Coney Island on a late night, smoke some blunts, get shot at a couple of times, you heard? Chased a couple of times, you'll be all right. Bring that real Brooklyn feel back. I be running down on that coast. See, when I go to Coney Island, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I gotta make sure, you know, I clean out my system to say the least. Gotta clean out my system, you know, make sure I don't got no full stomachs, no nothing. Cause when I get there, I'm going wild. You heard? First thing I do is I pull up on the corn lady. You heard the, the Mexican corn lady? That's the first person I pull up on. Before anything, before a ride, before anything, I just pull up. Park the car. I'm going to see her for two of them things. You heard? With everything. With extra everything. You know what I mean? Eat that. Then I go set up on the beach. I go by the the, the unlimited pass. I don't do nothing but unlimited passes. You heard? I don't got no time to be getting hustled. Because you know you're going to want to get on more rides in another two, three hours. You heard? So I get the unlimited. Matter of fact, this, this Spanish chick, I forgot her name, man. But this Spanish chick, she filmed a major Latin video, a major Latin R&B artist. I'm going to remember the name soon, but she filmed a crazy video in Coney Island. And, 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 and one of my daughters was in that video as, as the child. You feel me? Like she played a child in the video and she was running around in the video and they had mad scenes of her and all of that shit was crazy. But it was it was while Coney Island was closed down. So we had to go out there while Coney Island was closed down and meet the camera crew. And they was out there with the big cameras and all of that. And my daughter was out there for like four hours. You know what I mean? And she got her little cameo in the video, but it was crazy. My daughter's in some things now. My daughter, Hannah. She been in some things, Lord. She was in an episode of uh She was in an episode of what the fuck is that show called? I forgot the name of that shit. But she was in an episode of Dr. York episode where they was talking about how they ran down on Dr. York and all of that. She was in that episode. She was in um She was in this shit. Um Damn, man, the shit that come on CBS. I forgot the name of the show, but a major show. She was in a movie with the bro, that comedian. See, I don't want to be forgetting niggas' names on live, man. Because on live, I be stuck. But y'all know who I'm talking about. My nigga that was like, $8? You know what I'm talking about. A nigga funny as a motherfucker. Um, damn, bro. Be forgetting niggas' names, man. But my daughter's in that movie, man. He got a movie that's on like Amazon or something like that. My daughter got a part in that movie. My daughter and my baby mom, as a matter of fact. My wife, you feel what I'm saying? But, um... That shit is fire though. But yeah, my kids been in a couple of things now. My son, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't saying it because he my son and I'm proud of my son. I'm keeping it a hundred with you. That dude is a born actor, bro. I'm telling you, remember I told y'all that on this live. He's a born actor, bro. He was made for the camera, I'm telling you. Dude be bugging out, my dude. I'm telling you. He be performing. He be doing all type of stuff. You can't put no music on without him dancing. I hope he don't got his father dance skills because I, I can't dance for shit. I could only dance when I'm not thinking about it. If I start thinking about if I, I could be killing a move. I could be like, oh, I'm killing this shit. And then I think about it like, yo, you killing this shit. That shit just get awkward and I fuck it up. So I only could dance on an impulse. Like, you know what I mean? Not thinking about it. But if I think about it, like, yo, do this dance, it ain't gonna happen, son. You heard? It gotta be a natural impulse where I just catch the beat. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm murdering this. I'm murdering this. But as soon as I think about that shit, nigga, as soon as I say, yo, you murdering that dance like a real dancer, that shit just be stupid off beat. I be like, damn. 
You heard? So, you know, the times when I do catch the rhythm, niggas got to have them cameras rolling, nigga. So when I be having to do a little bop or something like that in a music video, I got to do that shit like 10 times. I got to just let the camera roll and do that shit like 10 times. I'll be like, oh, oh. And then I look back, I'm like, all right, all right. I don't look all stiff on that little part right there. Let me get that little part right there. Because my nigga, my dance game, you know, I could make the music to dance to all the time. But, um, you know, my long, my tall, long, coconut, long boy ass, I don't be looking right dancing, my nigga. So I just stick to rapping. That's why I chose making music. Because I ain't going to be dancing to the music out here looking crazy. Yeah. You will catch me at I do. I've had my moments, nigga. I've had my moments when I killed some. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna say I can't pop and all of that. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't even gonna do it to you sitting in the car. But one day when I'm standing up, I'll show y'all niggas my pop game, nigga. My shit ain't no joke. Don't sleep. You heard? Because, you know what I mean? I used to be like, you know, you know, I cup and all of that, nigga. I come with the cup. You know, I get busy. When it come to that popping and break dancing, I used to break dance for my family, <laughs> my my Puerto Rican family uptown. I'd be coming from Brooklyn and I'd be thinking I'm mad hip hop. I'd be wearing my hat the same way I wear it now. I was a little fat nigga. I used to come to come uptown to my pops crib. My aunts be like, "Let me see you do that break dancing, nigga." I used to be doing the same move over for a half hour. The whole family be like, "Yeah, oh shit, yo yo, this kid is crazy." I be doing the same motherfucking move like this with the cup. You heard? Nigga couldn't do no spin moves. I had a little bit of spin. But all that spinning on the head and all that, I couldn't do none of that. You heard? But trust me, my family, them niggas used to be amping me like my shit was motherfucking uh, uh, breaking two electric boogaloo, nigga. Like, you know, they ain't know nothing about that hip hop. I was coming from Brownsville. I was coming up in there like this, boop, 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 bop, bop, boop, boop, bop. They was like, oh, shit. Or maybe they was gassing me. But I'm telling you, my nigga, my pop game wasn't on. And, I, and I'm going to tell you something else that's serious. My beatbox game, my nigga. My beatbox game, you know, if you from the hood, you just call that shit beatbox. What the fuck is that? Yo, you could beatbox, son? No, my nigga, it's beatbox. Now that I'm a grown ass man, but all my life we was in the hood. Yo, son, do that beatbox, son. Now I mean, but like, yo, I could beatbox, my nigga. I used to be nasty. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I used to be nasty, and I'm eventually do a song where I'm just beatbox. I ain't gonna start beatboxing on here. <laughs> now I mean, but you, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> now I mean, don't get me started on this bitch, nigga. Now I mean, I'm telling you, son, my shit bassy, these lips, shit is growling. My bass be crazy. Now I mean, I'm telling you, my nigga, I'm gonna record some shit. I'm gonna record some shit. You know Lottie Dottie, man, like we don't be knowing because Lottie Dottie's such a hot song. We be forgetting though, Lottie Dottie is nothing but beatbox, my nigga, the whole song. Yo, kick this, Lottie Dottie, we likes to party, we don't cause trouble, we don't bother nobody, we're just some men that's on the mic, and when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic, right? The only y'all keep you on in hell, just to see you smile and enjoy yourself, well it's cool when you cause a cozy condition and we create, and that's our mission, so listen uh, to what we say, because this type of shit, it happens every day, I woke up around 7 o'clock in the morning, I gave myself a fresh up, a morning yawning, let me stop man, because I just sing the whole shit to the very end, you heard? But um... The whole song was beat by a nigga. Dougie Fresh was murdering that shit. You heard? And the show. I mean, the show had beat, but, you know, at the end when that nigga was like, Hey, yo, Doug, do that record jam on the groove. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That shit was stupid, nigga. Between him, Biz, and Buff, I don't know, but nobody could fuck with Buff, my nigga. Be, um, Biz was that nigga. 
But nobody, I don't think nobody was fucking with that nigga Buff, my nigga. That nigga shit was sounding like real beats, my nigga. That nigga shit was sounding like a drum machine. You heard? Niggas thought that was a SP-1200. The shit that was coming out that nigga. You heard? Pause. But like real talk. That nigga Buff, that nigga shit was different. And I'm known for the... I can't even do that shit Dougie be doing. You heard? Not for the... I remember, yo, this word to everything I love, bro. Damn. See, I be remembering shit fucking with y'all. This is word to everything I love. When I was a kid, Biz had me doing that. Right? Son, I did that shit so much. I fucking pushed. I fucking did something to my throat. And the cartilage of my throat was it was stuck in my throat, my nigga. Where it felt like something was stuck in my throat for weeks, bro. Because I did that shit so much. You know, you got soft cartilage in your neck. You can't be hitting your neck like that. My shit was every day, all day. You heard? I was doing that shit all day. Son, my shit almost killed myself, bro. My shit, I ain't even tell my mom nothing. My shit like this. My shit wake up in the middle of the night. Can't even breathe. I'm like, yo, I got to stop doing that Bismarck shit. Real talk. Like, today's day and age, niggas would have tried to sue Bismarck. Yo, you, my kid throat is fucked up, Biz. You not man. But I was fucked up. That shit healed eventually and went away. And I ain't never do that shit again. You heard? But when I was a kid, I used to be, and I was hitting my shit dumb hard with my knuckles all day. Like right now, I'm just tapping it like, ma. But when I was a kid, I used to be like, ma, banging that shit, banging my whole shit off. Real talk. Shit was not a good look, my nigga. You know what I mean? But that was the illest, that was the illest uh, shit you could do in, 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 and be boxing nigga when nigga hit you with that ma it was over once biz did that it was over lord you feel what i'm saying but yeah i fucked up my esophagus pause i fucked my shit up my nigga i was like oh shit i got another crazy story in the veal time when i used to eat veal like when i was a kid i used to eat meat pause i had a piece of veal stuck in my throat for weeks my nigga shit was crazy my moms ain't believe me she like, you bugging now that I you threw up his feel. I'm like, yo, listen, I'm telling you, nigga. It's something stuck in my shit. You breathing this and that. You go. Yeah, all right. I'll tell that story one day. But, you know, I, I stopped eating veal even before I stopped eating meat because I found out veal was baby cow that's tortured like a motherfucker before they actually kill them shits for slaughter milk fed veal they put them shits in cages where they can't even move and they do that purposely so that they cannot develop any muscle tissue so they put them niggas in cages baby cows calves where they cannot move at all so that they muscles don't the meat stay soft that's what they call milk fed veal and they feed that shit milk and paralyze it in a cage until they are ready to kill it so that the meat is soft as hell that's torture, that's ridiculous, that's inhumane, crazy shit. So I don't support veal, I don't support meat at all. Pause, but I damn sure don't support no fucking veal. And if you eat veal, just let it be known. Dumb niggas is torturing baby cows and feeding that shit milk and forcefully making it stay in a cage where it cannot move so that its muscles cannot develop muscle tissue so that the meal could be soft and, and, and succulent for some rich people you feel what i'm saying so that shit is complete savagery you heard and i'll have i'll i'll have no part in it but um yeah man new episode is dropping in seven minutes with the gar fruit corn you know we in we in brooklyn we talking about heavy shootout history in lafayette gardens i need all y'all niggas to run up in there and leave them comments you heard we talking about you know the trilogies we talking about motherfucking um the origins of the Bronx and Brooklyn War, exactly what started it. Because we always want to know exactly what started the Bronx and Brooklyn War. Well, we bringing that to the table today, letting niggas know exactly what it was that caused the division between the Bronx and Brooklyn War. You feel me? Before the Rambo incident with Killer and all of that, way before that. You heard? Troy Wright Jr. was popping. Queen Lotus was really good. 
mouth dries a bit as a little itch. BX Finest was really. Turf Orca was really. My nigga Mike Book was really good. MRC was really. FTC was popping. Fly Vernon was really. Tales from the Pen was really goody. Real Deal was populating. KX was really. Yeah, man. I got four episodes locked and loaded, man. You know what I mean? I don't know if they gonna approve another episode today, but I ain't dropping it today. I will drop it tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, on the weekend, they won't be approving shit because I guess them niggas got off on the weekend. The niggas who review the videos and all that. You're sh so... <laughs> Let's motherfucking hope um, they approve that shit for tomorrow because I want to drop every day of the week, you heard? So I got that. I got I got some new Rado coming. That's an hour long. That's a straight movie. That's a straight movie. You know what I mean? The, the, the continuation to the Rado. You know what I mean? That shit is called uh, uh, Shoe Shine Took the Phone. How I Took Over Two Upper. You heard? That's the movie that's going to come out. When that get approved, then I got a super movie. Shout out to the guard, Ron Dude from Brownsville, Van Dyke. Super movie. That's all I got to say. You heard? Super movie. Got super movie dropping with the bro at uh on uh Sunday. You know that's prime time, nigga. When I think about Sunday, I think about HBO. You heard? Because they be locked and loaded on a Sunday with their new episode ready to go. You heard? Four minutes to that new episode drops. So, you know what I mean? Sunday's a special day for me. Then Monday, I got my nigga Everlast. I'm starting a new series called Killer Queens. You heard? Like, because I hope y'all don't think. I told y'all, this ain't just the Brooklyn Channel. This ain't just the Bronx. This is motherfucking New York City and beyond. State everything. So I'm starting a new series called Killer Queens. I'm letting y'all know that now because I need my Queens niggas to be heavily ready on that comment game. But I'm starting a new series called Killer Queens. And first up to bat is my bro Everlast from Left Rack City. You heard? You know, we not glorifying violence. But you know, one of the wildest Queens niggas on the planet that you ever met from the penitentiary, my nigga Everlast. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, I'm dropping the first issue with him. He talking about how basically Nori is the nigga who bought him out the house. You know, I'm giving niggas, I'm giving niggas, I'm giving niggas morsels, man. Heavy morsels. You heard? Heavy morsels. We going into the history of Left Rack City. You heard? New series, Killer Queens. We going in the Iraq. You heard? I'm giving that morsel on uh Monday. And then the second part to that, which is already done, is going to be Riot and A Dorm and Green, my nigga. You heard? My nigga Everlast caught three years in a box in Green, man. It was this fucked up situation. But a riot jumped off in his house, man. Well, they, they jumped off the riot. They started a riot in the house. You feel what I'm saying? We gonna hear about how that went down. It's, just, it's ugly. Like I said, we not here to glorify violence, but we don't complain when we watch National Geographic and they talk about how Napoleon Bonaparte came running through and cut 30 heads off. We be like, oh shit, this is entertaining. So we talking about some conquering shit too, nigga. We talking about history. You heard? History of New York State. I got to get at that dude, that police dude, man. Shout out you watching. That CO from Green that hollered at me that was on the Red Dot Squad. I forgot to get that interview in with the brother. I got to get that interview in with the brother. I got to look through my, my my messages and try to find his contact, man. You know what I mean? But it's a brother. It's a dude that used to watch. Uh, I mean, he used to he used to play. The, he used to be on the Red Dot Squad in Green. He was a CO in Green for two years. And he, was, he watches the channel. And son said... Uh, I think it's funny because he was like, yo, man, they need to they need to cut they need to close that fucking jail down, man. He was like, what fucking type of jail is that? He said, I worked the red dot squad every day. It was five red dots a day every fucking day. He said, like, 
uh, motherfuckers get stabbed and cut every single fucking day. Like, when they just gonna close that shit down? It's not working. You understand what I'm saying? It's not rehabilitating anybody that prison. All motherfuckers do is stab and cut on a daily basis. Like, why the fuck is they still keeping that shit open? That's what the police said. He said he retired. He had to get up out of there. He said he couldn't do it no more because it was just carnage all day, every day. Imagine you police, you got to work the red dot squad. You know, they do that to new niggas. They'll you know, work the red dot squad. nigga. You got to run in the dorm while a nigga swinging four can tops. Nigga, 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 nigga bashing nigga in the head with the nigga swinging the microwave plate at a nigga. A jagged piece of the microwave plate at a nigga. You got to go grab the nigga. I seen police get stabbed like that up north. Real talk. I seen police get stabbed. Man, they got cut in Franklin. I told that story on the channel. Oh, it's five o'clock. I'm going to have to get back to y'all on that. You understand what I'm saying? But it's five o'clock. That new episode is out right now. I need all of y'all motherfuckers that's up in here to slide over to the premiere. Meet me over there at the premiere. Pause. I'll see y'all over there.